Yeah, every time I put a call. Amen. How do you handle a sudden storm? Yes. Is today's topic. Heavenly Father, we thank you, Lord God. For yes. A new month, a new day, a new time, new season. Yes. Everything that's going forth yes. in the name of Jesus. But Lord, none of it is a surprise to you. Amen. And Lord, you're still in control. Yes. You yes. in control yes. to the end of this thing, Lord God. Yes. The end of life, the end yes. of time. Yes. The end of everything, Lord God. Yes. You are yes. still in control. Yes, you, are. you have not left your position, Lord God. You didn't hand it over to somebody yes. else or yes. needed any help. Are, are any decision from anyone. So, Father, we thank you that the things that are written, they are written, and, Lord God, they shall come to pass because yes. you are you. an awesome God, a God who keeps his promises, yes. Lord God, yes, a God who Woo. makes a way where there seems to be no way, Lord God, and not only that, Lord, you're still an on time, yes. God. Yes. Hallelujah. God who thank loves his people, who works things out for his people, who yes. pulls them yes. people and pulls his people through, who yes. will pull yes. his people up, Lord God. Hallelujah. Yes. Set them in a high place thank in the name Lord. of Jesus, yes. Lord God. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. No matter what it looks like on this yes. earth, Lord God, we are a people who win. Yes. Hallelujah. The yes. ones that call upon yes. your name is yours that our Lord and Savior, Father, yes. that you are our King. Yes. You are our Creator, Lord God, the author of our life. Yes. Hallelujah, Jesus. Yes. Hallelujah, Lord God. We win. Yes. We yes. win with yes. you, Lord God. Yes. So have your way today, Lord God. Bless this word that goes forth, Lord God. Yes. Let it not return void, but yes. let it accomplish everything that you're sending it out yes. to accomplish. Yes. And Lord, we know it will. And the saints of God says, it will. Yes. It will yes. accomplish yes. it. Yes. So, Father, we thank you in Jesus' name. Jesus. Hallelujah. Amen. 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 Yeah. I had uh, just finished reading about the book of Acts. I mean, mm -hmm. Acts 27 about the storm. Mm -hmm. And then Bishop come up with, you know, with he he wanted me to speak. And that was the perfect thing. I had just read that and everything. Kind of meditating, looking at different things in that. Uh, in that passage of looking at the storm is uh, Acts, Acts 27, but we're going to start from the beginning of Acts 27 1 instead of Acts 27 13. Mm -hmm. And then we're going to look at Job 7. Job has some complaints here. And yeah. a lot of times when we're caught in a storm, mm -hmm. I mean a storm, a storm. we have questions. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And, and and he was asking God about it. You know, he was just really ready to give up on some things in life. And so we'll look at a situation that Job was in because we know all the things that happened to Job right. because God set him out there yes, Lord. and already knew that Job was going to win. Right. But just wanted other people to know, you know, your, your trials and storms and things are not just that you're going through. People are observing, yes. and it's a witness to them. Uh -huh. It's yes, an expansion Lord. of what is happening to you, yes. but for God to get the glory. Uh -huh. Or as we talk about evangelism and testimonies, mm -hmm. this is also a way of people seeing your God work. Yes. And they're seeing how you're reacting yes. to it. Amen. How can you stay afloat? Yes. How can you stay on your Come feet? On. How can you keep a calm mind? Yes. How, how can you uh, uh, right, right. continue to smile? Come on. Why are you still cooking yes, Lord, meals and why are you still yeah. acting like you're normal we don't you yeah. know that you're going through a storm mm -hmm. Absolutely. you know what i'm saying yeah. and so we, we're going to look at that and then we're going to look at jonah of course jonah caused a storm yeah. that affected others uh -huh. by being disobedient yeah, so right. there are different kinds of ways in the in the spirit that we can get caught up in storm yeah. uh -huh. and we know in the natural i mean our weather is we they're talking about we're going through a uh, climate change and uh, different things that affect the uh -huh. climate like uh -huh. trash and mm -hmm. gases and and different things of that nature yeah. affects uh um the climate and can cause uh, violent storms mm -hmm. in, your, in, in our lives, in our day-to-day -day lives. And we know for a sudden storm, I mean, it could be the, sh the sun shining, mm -hmm. nice little breeze, mm -hmm. everything going well, and all of a sudden the wind just pick up mm -hmm. out of nowhere. Absolutely. And begin to uh, toss things around that you got set outside and all of that. Mm -hmm. So storms can happen, but they, it's a reason. Mm -hmm. 
It's always a reason for the storm. Yes, absolutely. And as you're going through the storm, you need to kind of pull back and, and, and look at what's happening. Yes. Yes. Why is this happening in my life? Yes. What, what, what's causing this? Is it something that I caused or is it something that somebody else caused? That I'm going through this or that we're going through it as a family or we're going through it as a city or a community. Or our nation, mm-hmm. you know, on, is it, it, you know. So there are different reasons uh, uh, for a storm yes, and for absolutely. a sudden storm. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. You know, the Bible tells us to keep watch. Yeah. Mm-hmm. <laughs> and it, a lot of times, if you're keeping watch and you're doing what you're supposed to do, you'll be all right when a sudden storm comes. Come on, that's right. <laughs> it won't take you long to gather your things. Because you got things in order. Things are already in order. See, it wasn't hard for me to get a message together because I had just finished studying when he came and told me I need to bring a message. So if you're already kind of on, you, you know, and you're told you, you're, you're ready, the storm ain't going to take you down that it meant to do. You know, it can take things from you and all that, but... The thing it really want to do to you, like that dagger in your heart, you know, it want to take your joy, it want to suck the life out of you, you know, and all of that. It's not going to do all that. Now, if you're a mature saint, you're a saint of God, you know that what we're supposed to do when a storm comes. That's why you're here today. Amen. You're here in church today so you can be equipped when the storm comes. Because I can guarantee you that a storm is going to come in your life. That's right. That's right. That's right. That's right. So therefore, you're getting equipped right now of what you need to do. And you need to keep on praying, keep on worshiping, keep on studying, keep on doing the right things that you're supposed to do, and you'll be ready. That's why we hear the same stories over. The same, we, we're studying this same book for generations to generation because this book equips us. It equips us to be ready. The army hasn't changed, our military hasn't changed a lot of stuff. We still got the different branches, and we got, you know, the, the ones that go out before anybody else with the secret. Or missions and things that they got to do. But it hasn't changed a lot. The discipline is still there. Uh-huh. Uh, the punishments for disobedience is still there. The order of things is still there. I think the time frame of going into uh, 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 in the military to the six weeks and all this uh, of training, all of that is still there. Amen. And it's been going on for uh, uh, decades and decades and decades in our nation. Yes. Amen? Amen. So this has been going on for generations because storms will come. Amen. 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 So we're going to we're going to look at um we're going to go first to well, I'm going to ask this question. What causes sudden storms? Differences in opinion can cause a storm. Amen. Greed. Mm-hmm. People want stuff. Mm-hmm. You know, lust. It can cause a storm. Lies. Yes. People don't lie and lie and it causes storms and confrontations yes. and, and all kind of stuff. It divides. Yes. Uh, it comes in and, it, it, and each one of these come in uh, 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 to do a work. Mm-hmm. Greed comes in and it has a work. And it's not just by itself. Amen. When greed comes in, the lust is usually right there Amen. with it. Yes, absolutely. Covetousness is usually right there with it. Uh-huh. So you look at these things as a topic, but there's a strong man first, and then these other little things that are with it. Yes. Yes. Come they come in. Right. Yeah, yeah, they, they come now. in. Yeah. yeah. Mm-hmm. So you have that, and then you have uh, the governmental systems mm-hmm. that they that we can see that today. Mm-hmm. A lot of this we. You know, it's right before our eyes. It's on TV all day long. The government can't get along. One party can't get along with the other party. And it is brewing. It's brewing. And it spilled over in January the 6th. We saw the spillover. We saw uh, the fruit of all of that chaos. There is a fruit. Yeah, to yeah. the lust. It's yeah. a fruit to the greed. It's a yeah, fruit so. to a uh, government, uh, uh, um, uh, you know, they can't come together. Negativity and things. Right, it's, right. it's it's, a, it's a, a, a fruit to that thing. And then we got idolatry. Mm-hmm. 
You know, people worshiping uh, uh, certain things. Mm -hmm. uh, they take it to heart. Mm -hmm. It might be a car. Mm -hmm. That car has more rights than any member oh. in the household. <laughs> if anything else doesn't get paid, this car going to get paid. This is going to be taken care of. And this thing comes to the forefront, and it becomes an idolatrous thing that uh, the household or a person has begun to worship. Amen? Amen. Amen. And then it's a disobedience to God. Let's turn to Jonah chapter 1, verse 7 and 12. Jonah chapter 1. Now these people, you know, they're doing what they usually do. But I'm telling you, when you got a person of God in the midst... Amen. Watch out. That's a good brew. Yes, <laughs> full storm. Yes, We're not getting along, but one of them is a saint. Yes. Come on. Yeah. Amen. One yeah. of them is a saint. Yeah. So they don't brought God into the yeah. house. No, I mean, uh, they don't brought yeah. God into the situation. Yeah. Uh, God is there yeah. in the argument. Because uh, they yeah. say, God said, I would never leave you oh, nor forsake you. Come on. But the person that you're dealing with uh -huh. uh, uh, don't believe in your God. Yeah. But care less about your God. And you're trying yeah. to tell them, you know, what is right. Yeah. So that, that is a good brew for a, a, a perfect storm. Yeah. Right. And the word say a house divided cannot stand. A nation divided it will not stand. Not stand. Mm -hmm. Okay? Amen. So we're going to look at Jonah uh, 1 12. Jonah 1. We'll start at 7. Verse 7. Then the sailors said to each other, Come, let us cast lots to find out who is responsible for this calamity. <laughs> this is the man of God. This is a prophet. <laughs> he didn't want to. He didn't want to obey God. <laughs> right. They cast lots, and the lot fell on Jonah. So they asked him, "Tell us, who was responsible for making all this trouble for us? <laughs> what do you do, man? <laughs> Where do you come from? And what is your country? And from what people are you?" So evidently, he he answers them, and he says, "I'm a Hebrew." And I worship the Lord, the God of heaven, because these, these are some of the things they want to ask first, mm -hmm. you know. And uh, and then he says, who made the sea and the land. Okay. Yeah. So this sea is acting crazy. My God is in control of this sea. So, And so verse 10, yes. this terrified them. And they asked, well, what have you done? Right. They knew he was running away from the Lord because he had already told them so. Now the sea was getting rougher and rougher, so they asked him, what should we do to you to make the sea calm down for us? You know, do we need to give a sacrifice to your God or whatever it is that we need to do to calm your God down to appease him? You know, and so he said, well, pick me up because I don't want to do what my God is telling me to do. I'm going to take the drastic measure. Pick me up and throw me into the sea, he replied. Instead of saying, well, you know what, just take me back. And, uh, you know, take me back to shore and I'll just backtrack and go on and do what I got to do. <laughs> Isn't that easy? And they would have been willing to do it. I don't care how far they had got out. They would have been willing to take this man, a God, who had the water raging. And so um, he said, pick me up and throw me into the sea and it would become calm. I know that it is my fault. That this great storm has come up on you. <laughs> a lot of times, people know where the source is uh -huh. of the storm. Come on now, come on. Mm -hmm. Yeah, they know who's the source of the storm. <laughs> yes. They know where that 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 sudden storm that came up. Oh, uh, they know who the source is. Like I was saying the other day, to see that the two men fighting at a gas station, mm -hmm. it was it was like it was unreal. But it started from something. something sure. Somebody something. somebody said something, something yeah. or had done something. Mm -hmm. There was a source yes. mm -hmm. that it happened. Amen. 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 Hallelujah. Mm -hmm. So so be careful about that, you know. Mm -hmm. That's that's one of the, the uh, causes of a sudden storm. A disobedience to God can mm -hmm. cause a storm in your life. Yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Talk to Jonah about it. <laughs> mm -hmm. And then let's look at uh uh in religion. Religion can be one too. Let's look how Paul look at Paul, how he got caught in the storm. And this is Acts 19, New Testament. 
Acts 19.23. Hallelujah. Mm -hmm. Acts 19.23-41.23. Okay. Oh, the riot in Ephesus. Mm -hmm. Now, this, this brewed into a storm. Mm -hmm. This man of God, Paul, just going around spreading the gospel. Well, yeah. You know, trying to tell people how they can be saved. Amen. And it says, verse 23, about that time there arose a great disturbance about the way. The way was, was uh, another name in the beginning for Christians. Mm -hmm. A silversmith named Demetrius who made silver shrines of Artemis, brought in no little business for the craftsmen. Yeah, he made big money. He called them together, all the craftsmen together, because they sold these gods, uh, images of her, along with the workmen in related trades and said, men, you know we receive a good income from this business. Yeah. See, some people get in, re in the religious things because of money. Yeah. They, their heart is not there and all of that, but because of the money, mm -hmm. they love it. Mm -hmm. And you see mm -hmm. and hear how this fellow Paul has convinced and led astray large numbers of people here in Ephesus. And in practicality, and practically the whole providence of Asia. He says that man-made gods are no gods at all. <laughs> this is what Paul is telling the people. Mm -hmm. These man-made gods, they're not gods. Right. You know, we say it all the time. You know, you come in here with some fruit and put it up here in this altar. We're going to go through it because we're going to think that you brought this for the people to come come get what you want. Uh -huh. <laughs> you know, we don't give uh, fruit to uh, um, deity. Okay. Verse 27. There is danger not only that our trade would lose its good name, but also that the temple of the great goddess Artemis would be discredited. And the goddess herself, who is worshipped, uh, throughout the providence of Asia and the world would be robbed of her divine uh, majesty. Mm -hmm. 28. Mm -hmm. When they heard this, they were furious and began, began shouting. Now these are men shouting. Great as Artemis of the Ephesians. Soon the whole city was in an uproar. Talking mm -hmm. about a sudden storm uh -huh. yeah. coming against their God. Yeah. The people seized Gaius and Articus Paul's traveling companions from Macedonia mm -hmm. and rushed as one man into the theater. Mm -hmm. Paul wanted to appear before the crowd, but the disciples would not let him. Uh -huh. Even some of the officials of the providence, friends of Paul, sent him a message begging him not to venture into the theater. Mm -hmm. The assembly was in confusion. Mm -hmm. Confusion is a good starter mm -hmm. uh, for a sudden storm. Yes. It's a lot of confusion. Nobody's got the right facts. No. You know, or somebody's got yeah. the right facts, yeah. but everybody else got yeah. their own facts. Yeah. They know, or they heard from so and so, mm -hmm. uh, so and so done told them. And uh, so the assembly was in confusion. Some were shouting one thing, some another. Most of the people did not even know why they were there. <laughs> you know, they just lost. <laughs> the Jews pushed Ale Alexander to the front, and some of the crowd shouted instructions to him. He motions for silence in order to make a defense before the people. But when they realized he was a Jew, they all shouted in unison for about two hours. Wow. Wow. Men a uh, shouting for two hours. I mean, I, I can't even imagine that. Because most men don't, I mean, they're not involved in stuff like that. Maybe if it was a football game or something in sports, they, you know, they're going to yell and all that. But I just can't see uh, them going for two hours. Great is Artemis or the Ephesians. So that is it's like, a, you know, something has come down on them, some kind of spirit or whatever. Yeah. Verse 35, the city clerk quieted the crowd and said, men of Ephesus, doesn't all the world know that the city of Ephesus is the guardian of the temple of the great Artemis and of her image, which fell from heaven? Her image fell from heaven, they say. They just lie. Therefore, since these facts are undeniable that she fell from heaven, uh -huh. You ought to be quiet and do and not do anything rash. You have brought these men here, though they have neither robbed temples, piled them to do anything like that, nor mm -hmm. blaspheme our goddess. They didn't say nothing about her. Mm -hmm. If then 
Demetrius and his fellow craftsmen have a grievance against anybody, the courts are open and there are pro councils and they can press charges. If there is anything further you want to bring up, it must be settled in a legal assembly. As, as it is, we are in danger of being charged with rioting because of today's events. In that case, we would not be able to account for the commotion since there is no reason for it. Mm -hmm. After he had said this, he dismissed the assembly. Mm -hmm. You can get involved with something in a storm mm -hmm. by being with a crowd that you shouldn't oh, wow. be with. Mm -hmm. All right. A lot of people were there that did not know uh, why they were even there. Mm -hmm. I mean, they don't gather, they don't stir up the whole city. So all the men that came together because of this, and just joining in with the shouting and not knowing what is going on. You know, you need to dig into the facts. Mm -hmm. you, you need to use wisdom Amen. when you're getting into something and something is yeah. already brewing yeah. and uh, you don't know the fact. There's always two sides, they say, to every story and maybe even more. But you need to research and find out what is going on. Not only that, pray about it. Seek, yeah. uh, seek the Lord and ask him, is this something that I should get involved with? Every battle, every every storm is not for you to uh, 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 voice your opinions and all that. Some of them is just for you to be quiet. You know, and then after he said, find a place in your house that's got a steady beam. Yeah. And you know, open the window, go uh, 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 go down to the basement, sit down, be quiet. Yeah. <laughs> you wouldn't go down there and start a party, no. you know, with a storm in the natural because you need to hear. Amen. You need to hear, is this storm right up on me? Mm -hmm. What is happening? Is it blowing stuff around in the house? Has it hit the house? You need to be attentive at that time. Mm -hmm. So this ain't the time to be just jabbering out. No, you need to seek shelter and seek a covering. Mm -hmm. Do you Amen. have a covering? Amen. Yeah, you need a covering if you're going through a song. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. God is your covering. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right? He's yes. our covering. Yes. yes. Yeah, he is. He's, he's the keeper. Yeah. Amen. Hallelujah. Hmm. James uh, 3 14 through 16 says, But if you harbor bitter envy and selfish ambitions in your heart, do not boast about it or deny the truth. Such wisdom does not come down from heaven, but is earthly, is unspiritual, is demonic. Yes. For yes. where you have envy, look, this is very important. Uh -huh. come on. For wherever you have envy uh -huh. and selfish ambition, yes. there you will find disorder in yes. every evil practice. Yes. You need to mark that one. Yep. Amen. 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 You need to mark that because if it's envy and going around, jealousy is right there too. Mm -hmm. yeah. Yes. And selfish ambition is if it's all about that one person. Yes. Yeah. It's all about you know we all got yeah. our own little thing going on here. It says there you will find disorder. Mm -hmm. it, it can't bring that together. Mm -hmm. And every evil practice mm -hmm. is going to be in that. Yes. Amen. Mm -hmm. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Now, how should you approach the movements in your storm? Wisdom from God. Isaiah 55, mm -hmm. 8 through 9, says, For my thoughts are not your thoughts, oh. neither are your ways my ways, declares the Lord. Mm -hmm. As the heavens are higher than the earth, so are my ways higher than your ways, and my thoughts than your thoughts. Amen. That's See, right. God going to look at the thing totally That's different. Right. He's looking at the storm. Mm -hmm. And, and he sees it totally different than what you see. Amen. Because he, he's from above. Amen. He knows. He can see. Right. And so you're going to see it from just from the things that you can see in the natural. Amen. Yeah. But God knows. Mm -hmm. So he's saying, your thoughts about this situation is not the same as my thoughts. Amen. That's why you're looking for him to move out and, and take care of this and that. And he hasn't moved. Because he's looking at it in a different way. And his thoughts mm -hmm. about it is different than your thoughts. You like, you know, come down and wipe them all out and mm -hmm. take care of this. And he's like, no, uh -uh. <laughs> no, that's that's not the thought I have right, for this right, situation. Right. Mm -hmm. And there's a scripture that 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 you can use where it says, "Vengeance is mine," yes. says the Lord. Amen. 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 
Mm. You ain't gotta handle it. Mm. Hallelujah. No, you can you know what? You can still have your peace. Yeah. You may have to work at it at first. Mm. But you can still have your peace. Yes. Yes. Don't let anything rob you of your peace. Yes. Do you know how valuable yes. peace is? Come on now. Come on, lady. It is so valuable that the King of Kings went to the cross yes. and, and died, shed his blood so that we could have peace. So that we would be at war with God. Because in John 3.16, he said he so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son. Hallelujah. Woo. Now, if you don't have him, you still at war with God. Yes. Oh, now. Yes. You, are, you don't have, you cannot tell me you got peace. Because yes. peace doesn't, doesn't mean I got to have a dream to settle my nerves. Peace doesn't mean I got to have a good meal and smoke my cigarette to settle my nerves. That's not peace at all. None of that is peace. Real peace. Come on now. That when the winds are blowing and the rain is coming down and the thundering is going and the lightning is going, peace is shaking and moving all around you. You still, you still got your peace. You're able to tell the children, y'all just sit down. The storm is raging right now. It's going to pass. Every storm that comes, it comes to pass. Every storm. It comes to pass. And it comes to stay. If it stands, something is wrong. If that storm is lingering, something is wrong. Because storms come to pass. Mm -hmm. Amen. Amen. Yes. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Mm -hmm. oh, God right. is good. Yes, yeah. He is. Hallelujah. Yes, Lord. Okay. Mm. All right. Oh, my God. <laughs> Thank you, Jesus. Second Peter 2 9 says, If this is so, then the Lord knows how to rescue the godly oh, from God. trials yes, and to hold the unrighteous mm -hmm. for punishment right. on the day of judgment. Mm -hmm. yeah. 2 Corinthians 1, 8 through 11 says, We do not want you to be uninformed, brothers and sisters, about the trouble we experienced in the providence of Asia. We were under great pressure, far beyond our ability to endure, so that we despaired of life itself. Indeed, we felt we had received the sentence of death. But this happened that we might not rely on ourselves. Yes. Yep. Some things happen in your life is that you so that you don't rely on yourself, yes. but that you rely on God, yes. who raises the dead. Yes. He has delivered us from such a deadly peril, and He would deliver us again if He yes. did it once. Yes. Yes. He did do it again yes. and again and again. Yes. On Him we have set our hope yes. that He will continue to deliver us. As you help us by your prayers, yeah. then many will give thanks on our behalf for the gracious favor granted us in answer to the prayers of many. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Yes, 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 yes. Hallelujah. All right. How do you relate to others while you're in the storm? You snapping? On everybody, you know, because your nerves on edge. Yeah. You don't, you know, you, you forgot how to talk to people. Amen. You're not being kind. Yeah. You're being rude. Yeah. But in Hebrews two, mm -hmm. verse fourteen through eighteen says, "Since the children have flesh and blood, he too shared in their humanity, mm -hmm. so that by his death he may break the power of him who holds the power of death, that is the devil." And free those who all their lives were held in slavery by their fear of death. Amen. Hmm. For surely it's not angels he helps. Mm -hmm. I, I think I need to say that again. Because no, 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 no. some people think he, <laughs> no. he's helping the angels. Right, right. For surely it is not angels he helps. Mm -hmm. But Abraham's descendants. Mm -hmm. For this reason he had, to, he, be, he had to be made like them. Uh -huh. Fully human in every way. 
in order that he might become a merciful mm -hmm. and faithful yeah, yeah. high priest in service to God. Mm -hmm. And that he might make atonement, mm -hmm. pay the price, for the yeah. sins of the people. Mm -hmm. Because he himself suffered mm -hmm. when he was tempted. He is able to help those who are being tempted. Amen. 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 Ain't that good? Yes. Yes. That our God mm -hmm. became human. Mm -hmm. He became flesh. Mm -hmm. oh, and he felt Anything that you're going through, he's felt it. Wow. Yeah. Betrayal, hurt, yeah. all of that. Right. Uh, family not liking him and all that. Yeah. You know, his brothers yeah. and all of them didn't believe that he was who he said he was. Yeah. They thought this man was crazy. Right. You know, mm -hmm. you know, you got the same parents right. we got. You know, okay, you got a different dad. We give you that. <laughs> but you got a human dad. That's right. what they were thinking. Right. You know, yeah. but uh, there is no difference between between us yes. right Amen. yeah but no he said he suffered mm -hmm. and so he, he can relate to us so don't think that what you're going through that uh he doesn't understand right. you know sometimes I, I i imagine we just need the voice right, yeah. mm -hmm. right. And, and you know god knows the heart right. he knows where you are mm -hmm. in your heart yeah but sometimes you just need to voice. So well, God, do you see what's happening? Yes. You know what's happening to yes. me yes. and all that, but you know uh, inside, yes. you know he knows. Amen. I mean, if you, you're a, a, a worshiper of God, mm -hmm. he you know he knows everything about you. Yes. He knows when you get up and when you sit down. Yes. He, he knows it all, right? Amen. So, um, when you're relating with others, uh, try to still be in the spirit of God. Still try to be kind. Still try to do the things that you know that you are supposed to do. Mm -hmm. Still give. Still be, uh, you know, honorable to your word. Mm -hmm. If you say you're going to do something, yeah, do it. Do it. Uh -huh. If you say you're going to be there, be there. Mm -hmm. You know, and if you, if you can't, make sure you let people know. Yeah, know. Yeah. So if you're going through a storm and this is a day you just feel like you really can't get out of bed. Uh -huh. But you made that appointment with somebody. Uh, uh, call them yeah. and let them know you're not going to be able to make it, right? Amen. Yeah. Amen. Because he understands. Right. He understands the suffering that you're going through. Right. Amen. And a lot of people are, are really going through at this day and time. Uh -huh. Of uh, a lot of it is with sickness, but not only that, it's with the finances too. Yeah. You know, people getting put out of uh, their places and all of that is just a lot of chaos uh, going on today. Now, I want us to turn also to um, Job 7. I want you to hear Job's complaint. Mm -hmm. And, you know, we may have uh, said some things like this, what Job is talking about. And we know that Job, uh, God put him out there. Mm -hmm. And everything this man had uh, was taken from him, and he was very, very wealthy. Mm -hmm. uh, he was a godly man, and all of that, and God could brag on him, and this is basically what he was doing. Yep. He was bragging on him, and, and and letting people know, you know what, I let him go all the way down, but you know what, I'm going to bring him all the way up, oh, yes. <laughs> and God is able to do that. Your yes. life ain't over yes. because you lost some things, Amen. or you lost someone. Your life is not over. Amen. God still has a, a plan yes. for your life. Yes. Okay, Job chapter 7. And, and he's speaking here, and he said, Does not man have hard services on earth? Are not his days like those of a hired man? I mean, Job is in deep depression here. Like a slave longing for the evening shadows of a hired man, waiting eagerly for his age, wages. Now, you know, a hired man, you, you wait on that money. I, I know how that feels. Pay hey, me today. Especially with, with doing hair. You know, yeah. Uh, Pay me today. <laughs> you want to say, can you just pay me today? <laughs> uh, and, 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 you know, no, I, you know, and, and can I pay you next week? Yeah, <laughs> I need that money today. Pay me now. Pay me now. <laughs> it says uh, a hired man waiting eagerly for his wages. you waiting on that first paycheck. Just started a new job. You need that first paycheck. You know, don't withhold the wages from people. Verse 3, so I have been allotted months of futility and nights of misery have been assigned to me. His nights have been rough. 
when I lie down, I think how long before I get up. Mm -hmm. I mean, it's like somebody, I mean, you're going through and you're just kind of yeah. watching the clock. You're yeah. just kind of mm -hmm. watching the clock. The night drags on and I toss to dawn. My body is clothed with worms and scabs. Well, we do have urgent care, <laughs> thank yeah. God, and, uh, you know, emergency room. <laughs> get in there right. if you yeah. got something like this. Well, you know. <laughs> So he said, verse 5, my body is clothed with worms and scabs. My skin is broken and festering. My days are swifter than a weaver's shuttle. Now, you, just imagine that little bug getting across, huh? And they come to an end without hope. Remember, O oh God, that my life is but a breath. My eyes will never see happiness again. This is what some people think when they're going through a storm. That they're not going to have happiness again, and nobody loves them, and nobody cares, and nobody want to hear their story again. And so uh, uh, this type of emotion comes down, verse 8. The eye that now sees me will see me no longer. You will look for me, but I will be no more. As a cloud vanishes and is gone, so he who goes down to the grave does not return. Have you ever watched a cloud? You know, and you try to follow the cloud, and then it just is gone. Mm -hmm. and, and so this is where this man's mind is. So if you get in this type of condition, yeah. uh, you, uh, you need to bring yourself out of it and uh, surround yourself with, with, you know, good people of God or, or mm -hmm. asking for prayer or getting medical help right. mentally that you may need. And he would never come to our house again. His place... Uh, would know him no more. Mm -hmm. Therefore, I will not keep silent. I will speak out in the anguish of my spirit. I will complain in the bitterness of my soul. I mean, Job is going on. I am in the sea. Am I in the sea or the monster of the deep? Did you put me under God? Ooh. So who is he talking to? He's talking to God. Yeah. When I think my bed will comfort me and my couch will ease my complaint. Even then, you frighten me with dreams and terrify me with visions so that I prefer a strangling and death rather than this body of mine. I despise my life. I will not live forever. Let me alone. My days have no meaning. What is man that you make so much of him that you give him so much attention? He's asking God that you examine him every morning and then you test him every moment. <laughs> He's like, every moment, God, you're on my back. You're on me. <laughs> Will you never look away from me or let me alone even for an instant? <laughs> so then he goes, verse 20, if I have sinned, what have I done to you? O watcher of men, why have you made me your target? Have I become a burden to you? Why do you not pardon my offenses and forgive my sin? For I will soon lie down in the dust. You, you will search for me, but I will be no more. I mean, this is, I mean, you know, he is, is really depressed. And, and, and we would have put a watch on him. Yeah. And man, you sound like you're suicidal, you know. And so we put an intervention in there uh, in a situation like that. Hallelujah. Mm -mm -mm. Okay, let's go to, uh, hit some more, but I want to get into this storm right quick and get ready to close. Acts chapter 27, verse 13. Yep. Yeah. Okay, Acts chapter 27. The storm. That song that was played, Jerry and Joni used to do a dance off of it. Mm -hmm. It was very nice. I loved it. I request it all the time. And Joni's like, that dance kills my back. <laughs> <laughs> I said, oh, oh okay. <laughs> she started complaining. It was killing her back because she was so much taller than Jerry. And they were going over each other, like, you know, with some movements and things. Oh, and, and Jaria was, she was the storm. Jonah was a storm, and Jaria was the person fighting the storm, coming against the storm. Okay. Jonah had the storm, I hurt my back. Yeah, yeah. And she was like, uh uh. So, yeah, the kids loved it, and then it, we just had to put it on the background. Okay, so this uh, um, 
Paul is um, really in, in prison, and he's been taken here and taken there, and so he has to go to Rome, and so um, uh, they're going to send him to Rome. So meanwhile, he is still a prisoner, and uh, they are getting on this ship, and this ship is getting ready to go out, even though the weather looks promising. It looks like a nice day to go out mm -hmm. and uh, start this venture and going heading towards Rome. But then uh, this storm come up on the land. In verse 13, it says, When a gentle south wind began to blow, they thought they had obtained what they wanted. So they weighed anchor and sailed along the shore of Crete. Before very long, a wind of hurricane force called the Northeaster swept down from the island. Verse 15, the ship was caught by the storm and could not head into the wind. So we gave way to it and were driven along. And as, as we passed to the lee of a small island called Cotta, we were hardly able to make the lifeboat secure. Now when the men had hoisted it aboard, they passed ropes underneath the ship itself to hold it together, fearing that they would run aground on the sandbars of Sartis they lowered the sea anchor and let the ship be driven along. And we took such a, a violent battering uh, from the storm that the next day they began to throw the cargo overboard. Mm -hmm. And so as so much was, was going on with the, this storm, and this storm uh, is not letting up. As a matter of fact, the storm started to get worse mm -hmm. as uh, they got further out. Right. The winds picked up more. And so these uh, sailors... I guess the merchants, um, they were doing everything that they know to do. Uh -huh. they, they messing with the anchors, they, they mixing, messing with the sails, and they doing everything, trying to save the cargo. Mm -hmm. And the cargo, uh, in one of my studies, was some wheat. Not like wheat that we just eat, but wheat that they were uh, taking over to Rome, uh, that they were going to get a lot of money uh, for this wheat. And so um, this is one of the things that... It caused them to lose uh, even the cargo and everything that they was taking. Amen. Okay, let's continue. Uh, with their own hands, verse 20, when neither sun nor stars appeared for many days and the storm continued raging, we finally gave up all hope of being saved. Now, with the sun not and, and the stars not appearing, a lot of times they could look up and they would know where they are in the water. They could tell, okay, uh, we're by the little dipper, then we should be at such and such point. Mm -hmm. and, and, you know, if they couldn't even look at their little dials or whatever they had, mm -hmm. they could at least go by the position of where the sun is, or they could go by the stars that were out mm -hmm. at night. But neither one of them was uh, oh. was out. Mm -hmm. and, and have you been in a storm, and you're praying and praying and praying, oh, and no. you're not getting anything? Right. I mean, it's like, okay, God... Uh, I know I'm a child of yours, but you're not answering. Yeah. You're not um, doing anything. Oh, what's going on here? Okay. <laughs> you're not paying any attention to me. Uh, you know, are, are you there? Yeah, just like uh, Job, uh, Job was asking, Lord, do you, do you see me? Do you hear me? Mm -hmm. And so they're wondering, okay, what is going on? And they finally gave up all hope of being saved. Well, now, in your, your situation, if you, you give up hope, you're holding on to the hope. Mm -hmm. The hope will keep you, you know. Mm -hmm. uh, but when you give up hope, then you're giving in to something else because something mm -hmm. else is going to fill that spot. Right. Yeah. So if you give it up your hope then that uh, of, of being saved, then now we're looking at death. Uh -huh. yes. You know, mm -hmm. we're looking at death. We're looking at, okay, this is the way... Uh, my life is going to end in this situation. So they, they gave up all hope of being saved. 21. And after the men had gone a long time without food, Paul stood up before them and said, Men, you should have taken my advice not to sail from Crete. Then you would have spared yourself this damage and the loss. Uh, but now I urge you to keep up your courage because not one of you would be lost. Only the ship would be destroyed. So Paul is letting them know, come on, we got to keep going. You need to have somebody in your corner or uh, uh, some scriptures or something that is that is positive that can feed you during hard times. That, that this is a promise that you've been, you know, you've been, it, it brings you out. It keeps you steady and it keeps you focused. And so Paul was this to these people because there were other prisoners 
on the ship. I think it was 270 some men also on this ship. And they were prisoners. And so uh, he's telling all of them. He's telling the, the, the sailors and all. Keep up your strength. Let's eat. Right. You know. And people will tell you, you know, uh, you need comfort and all that because the love will not. But they started telling you, you need to eat something. You need to eat something so that you can hold on to your strength. Yes. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Hallelujah. Verse 23. Last night an angel of the, of the God whose I am and whom I serve stood beside me and said, Do not be afraid, Paul. You must stand trial before Caesar, and God has graciously given you the lives of all who sail with you. Mm -hmm. So keep up your courage, men, for I have faith in God that it will happen just as he told me. Mm -hmm. Nevertheless, we must run aground on some island. Now the, uh, the angel came, gave him a little advice. Mm -hmm. When they appear, they don't give you the whole story. Right. Right. They ain't going to tell you this happening, right. blah, blah, blah. They're going to tell you just what you need. Right. Nobody is going to be lost on the ship. Right. Everybody's lives are in your hand, Paul. Your hand. Their blood would be on your shoulders or on your hand if you don't do what you're supposed to do. Mm -hmm. Amen? Mm -hmm. Hallelujah. Glory. Verse 27. On the 14th night, we were still... <laughs> this is two weeks of going through the storm. Mm -hmm. We were still being driven across the Adriatic Sea. When about midnight... The sailors since they were approaching land. They took soundings and found that the water was 120 feet deep. A short time later, they took soundings again and found it was 90 feet deep. Fearing that we would be dashed against the rocks, they dropped four anchors from the stern and prayed for daylight. In an attempt to escape from the ship, the sailors let the lifeboat down into the sea, pretending they were going to lower some anchors from the boat. But then Paul said to the centurion and to the soldiers, unless these men stay with the ship, you cannot be saved. God has sent a message, and he said the way that you could be saved. They have to stay with Paul. They want to they take and let the sailboat down, and they're going to sneak off, these uh, soldiers, they're going to sneak off the ship, leave everybody else, and uh, they're going to be saved. And not only that, they're responsible. If any of your uh, prisoners get away, it's life for life. So, the, you know, they were uh, serious about this. Verse 32. So the soldiers cut the ropes that held the lifeboat and let it fall away. Just before dawn, Paul urged them all to eat. For the last 14 days, he said, if you had... If you have been in constant suspense and have gone without food, you haven't eaten anything. Now I urge you to take some food. You needed to survive. Not one of you will lose a single hair from his head. And after he said this, he took some bread and gave thanks to God in front of them all. He blessed the food and Amen. broke it. And come on, we got the man of God. We got a Amen. representative Amen. of the kingdom of heaven right here with us. And he is telling Amen. us. What, what, which way to go? Amen. He's given us hope, right. and it Amen. sounds very, very simple. Just uh -huh. stay, just stay on the ship. Right. But you got the report that the ship is breaking up, and yeah. all these other things are going to happen. But this is what you got to do. Yeah. And then he broke it and began to eat. Mm -hmm. They were all in carriage and ate some food themselves. All together, there were two hundred and seventy-six of us on board. And when they had eaten as much as they wanted, they lightened the ship by throwing the grain into the sea. Mm -hmm. Now, when daylight came. They did not recognize the land, but they saw a bay with a uh, sandy beach where they decided to run the ship aground if they could. Cutting loose the anchors, they left, left them in the sea and at the same time untied the ropes that held the rudders. Then they hoisted the foresails to the wind and made for the beach, but the ship stuck a sandbar and ran aground. You know, right at, at, at the time of that deliverance, right. something else comes in. Yeah, something right. else, you know, a little snag yeah. comes in there. Yep. And it looks like you're not going to be released. But keep your hope because yeah. it is still yeah. going yeah. forward. Yeah. It's still going forward. The yeah. healing is still coming. Yeah. Yeah. It's not going to stop it. Amen. God has kept you all this, all well, this time. Yeah. It's coming. Yeah. I, I, it will be a full healing. Yeah. It will come forth. Yeah. It will be a full deliverance. Mm -hmm. 
it will come yeah. for that that you want that you're trying to get all your money together yeah, to get your house yeah. shall come for yeah. and it's gonna be even more than what yeah. you expected yeah. because you went through the storm you let that storm pass yeah. god is hallelujah. with you so just continue to do what you're doing yeah. Yeah. Amen. hallelujah continue to take care of those other bills getting those things out of the way putting the money aside continue to be joyful hallelujah continue to go forward because god just comes that last snag that last little report that came in and we want you to do one more test well that's all right that's all right i can do the one more test but you know what wherever i am god is with me wherever i go god is with me whatever i face God yes. is with me. Yes. Hallelujah. Mm-hmm. Hallelujah. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Man, yes, yeah, it, it struck a sandbar and ran aground. And the uh, bow, bow, whatever it is, struck fast and would not move. And the stern was broken to pieces by the pounding of the surf. And so the soldiers planned to kill the prisoners to prevent any of them from swimming away and escaping. And we're going to take care of them. Right. That's going against what God has said, right? Right. <laughs> but the centurion wanted to spare Paul's life, because that means they would have to kill Paul too, and uh, kept them from carrying out their plan. He ordered those who could swim to jump aboard first and get to land. The rest were to get their own planks or on pieces of the ship. And this way, everyone reached land in safety. Now, if you, it's so close. That all you got to do is get a piece of the ship Come if you can't yeah. swim. Yeah. Just hold on to yeah. a piece of the ship. Oh, yeah. And so what all of this is doing, all of this is building up faith. Yeah. Yes. Mm-hmm. Yes. It's yes. turning yes. these 276 men that are on this ship to believe in, in the true yeah. and living God. Yeah. So what you're going through, yeah. what you're facing, and people are watching. Yes, oh, you yeah. say you're going to get a house? Uh-huh, yeah, right, 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 right. right, right. Just hold on. Amen. Just Come keep on. holding on. Because what you're facing is going to pass. Yeah. Amen. It, it, it is going to pass. Yes, you belong to the, to the Most High God. Right. Hallelujah. And, 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 and He doesn't fail. Right. He doesn't yes. fail. And hope doesn't disappoint. He yeah. said in His Word, hope doesn't yeah. disappoint. Yeah. Keep hoping in it. Yeah. Keep believing in it. Yes, Keep Lord. trusting that he's yes. able to move the stone, the, the, the stones. And he's able to move the obstacles. And yes. He's able to bring yes. you through. Yes. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. Some of you got jobs because the yes, saints Lord. have prayed for you to get that job. Yes. Some of you got the position you got because prayer. Yes. Mm-hmm. And you know what? Could nobody take it from you. Come on mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. You're there. Yep. And can't nobody take it from you unless you get tired of God saying, your time is up there. Right. Yes. And I, I want to move you on. Mm-hmm. Yes. But what God gives you, and what he gives to you, is for you. Yes. And what God has for you, is for you. Amen. There is what you need mm-hmm. out there. God has it for you. Amen. 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 And, 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 and don't worry. Uh-huh. Just continue to do what you're supposed to do. Because they are watching. Yeah, I'm watching. Right. And we're like, how long are you gonna? How long are you gonna? Uh, 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 you know, deal with that? As long as I gotta deal Come with it, and I still yes. know. Yes. I know you gotta get that in the atmosphere. Yes. 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 You need to speak it in the atmosphere. My house yes. is coming soon. Yes. You gotta, you gotta, you gotta speak it. That that thing is carrying, that's going in the wind. It, it, you know, let it carry to the east side. Uh-huh. Let it carry it to the south side. Uh-huh. Let it carry it all over the city. Uh-huh. Yeah. And then let it carry it to uh, other states. They say they get in the house. Come on now, right. Yeah. Right, right, yeah. Come on. Yeah. You are exercising your faith. Uh-huh. Without faith, it's impossible to please God. Yes. But the more you putting it out there, that's because you believe in this thing. Come on now. Amen. You have been riding around, you've been checking out things. You yes. whether it's on here or on yes. the tablet or what you're checking out things. Yes, you're, you're, you're doing what the doctor is telling you to do yes. and what God is telling you to do. It shall come, come to pass. Yes. Yes. Amen. It shall come to pass. Amen. It shall come to pass. Yes. Amen. 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 Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. My first point. Yes. Glory to God. Receive the encouragement in God's word. Uh-huh. And from the testimonies of the saints. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And that's Isaiah 41 10. I didn't close my Bible up already. <laughs> <All right. laughs> 
Isaiah 41. <laughs> Second point. <laughs> when you're feeling faint, weak, frightened, Come on with it. look again to God. Yes. Amen. Psalms 94, 4 through 6 says, He will cover you with his feathers. Mm -hmm. And under his wings you will find refuge. Yeah. His faithfulness will be your shield and rampart. Yes. You will not fear the terror of night, nor the arrow that flies by day, nor the pestilence that stalks in the darkness, nor the plague that destroys at midday. These are some good promises. Yes, Lord. good promises. Okay, I'm gonna give you Isaiah 41. 41 10. Hallelujah. Glory to God. So do not fear, for I am with you. Do not be dismayed, for I am your God. Do not fear, for I am with you. Don't, don't, don't get disappointed. Amen. I told you before, disappointment lets in other spirits. Yes, yes. And they come in and they build a house in you. And next thing you know, you think you're left all by yourself because you've been so disappointed. And that disappointment can go back some years and decades yes. or whatever and, and bring it all. That's his job. That's his job. But you are to come against him. All these things come against him in the name of Jesus. Amen? Amen. Amen. Heavenly Father, you are great and loving God. We, we are uh, honored to call upon your name, Lord God. And where you have us at today, Lord. It's a good place. Yes. And we thank you for that because you are there. Amen. You're in our home. Mm -hmm. You're with us when we travel, Lord God. You, mm -hmm. you never leave us, nor forsake us. And we are grateful. You bring in the income, Lord God. Yes. You bless us with the health to continue to go forth and keep a sound mind. Yes. And you put us with good people, Lord. And we thank you for that. Thank you for all your blessings, Lord. In Jesus' name. And if there's anyone who has not received Jesus Christ as your Lord and Savior, it is but a prayer. A prayer in believing that Jesus is the Son of God, that he paid the penalty for your sin, that he suffered, that he died on the cross. And on the third day, he rose from the dead with all power in his hands. And that power could be the same power that works in you when you receive him as Lord and Savior. So you asked him to forgive you of your sins and be your Lord and Savior that he take control of your life. Yes, Lord. And he will help you in whatever it is that you're going through. And this is this is the time. Amen. 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 If you did that prayer, oh, we ask that if you want to, you can contact us at Everlasting Word Church, uh, 360-906-1392. Six three zero. Nine zero six. Nine zero six. Thirteen ninety two. Amen. <laughs> Amen. They're laughing, but this is serious. Amen. So, if you want more information or our hours or anything, then you can contact us. Amen. 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 Be blessed. Amen. Three six zero. What did I say wrong? You said.